Are your affiliate websites dropping in rank, or even worse, getting de-indexed totally? With all the recent Google updates, it's getting tougher than ever to get top rankings for your affiliate websites. One or two page websites don't rank anymore, and many SEO strategies that used to work are no longer effective. To rank high in search today, you need to put your effort into building genuine websites based on search engine approved criteria. Although backlinks are still a critical ranking factor of Google's algorithm, obtaining higher placement begins with your on-site SEO. First and foremost is your website and internal linking structure. Search engines like Google love and approve of structured or themed website architecture. Here's why. It's easier to know exactly what your website is all about, resulting in faster, more accurate indexing. A structured website also provides your visitors with a great user experience, resulting in dramatically reduced bounce rates. And bounce rate is another of Google's important ranking variables. Silo structure will ensure that any link juice you receive from your link building efforts will be directed to the keyword and page you are trying to rank. This is why a properly silo structured website can actually rank your keywords higher with 90% less backlinks than your competitors. So why isn't everyone using silo structuring if it's such a crucial first step? Truth is, silos are not easy to create, especially if you use WordPress for all your websites like most all affiliate marketers do. You see, WordPress is not silo structure friendly right out of the box. That's because, by default, WordPress displays irrelevant site-wide links that bleed valuable link juice that you worked so hard to get. To make WordPress silo friendly, you need a custom plugin, custom theme, and some technical know-how. Until now. With the new Site Builds Advantage Silo Creator, anyone can create perfectly structured 3- and 4-level WordPress websites quickly and easily. This is the most powerful and user-friendly website silo creator available today. Now, let's see this amazing feature in action. Hello everyone, thanks for taking the time to check out our video. Uh, we're super excited here at SiteBuilds to be announcing the release of a project we've been working on for the past few months, our silo creator. So what you'll be able to do is basically build your website, your WordPress websites, the same as you normally would using the site build software, but you can also add a silo structure to that site, enabling Google and users to better navigate your website and basically get you rankings with literally 90% less backlinks than you normally would with a site that didn't have this type of structure. And uh, we also created a couple guides to go with this as well. We have an instructional guide that will show you every step along the way to, uh, to building your silo and integrating it with your website. And we also have an uh, informational guide which is going to explain what a silo is and uh, really get into the, the details of, of how it works and, and why it works. In fact, until this release, creating a WordPress website with silo architecture was not an easy task simply because by default WordPress displays irrelevant site-wide links that lead your valuable link juice. So in order to make WordPress silo friendly, you needed a custom plugin, a custom theme, and some technical know-how. But not to worry, we've changed all that and made it super simple. So WordPress websites with proper silo structure, so simple that anyone can do it. Now to start using the silo creator, we're going to have to have a website domain already in the system, or we'll have to create a subdomain. So if you already have a domain in the system, you're a current user and you've done your research and have a, a theme already applied, then you're, you're all set and ready to go. Now if not, if you're one of the free members that come in and, and took the free option on the sales page, you'll want to create your free subdomain. And we're going to do this from the dashboard by clicking on the Domain Manager. Now in this section, we're going to click on the Add Your Domain tab. And here you'll see Create Subdomain. So we'll click on that. So what we're doing here is we're going to create a subdomain based on the extrapages.com that, uh, that we've incorporated into SiteBuild. So all your subdomains will be yourname.extrapages.com. So we'll select a project from the drop-down menu. I have one previously created here, Silo Example. And we'll name our website, Silo Example. Call it one. And click Submit. Now the software is creating that subdomain for us, so we can uh, then go ahead after this here and we'll apply a theme, a WordPress installation to the site. 
Okay, here we go. Subdomain created successfully. So now we'll go back to the website builder. Now all these links on the side are the same that's on the dashboard. It's just a quicker way to get around instead of going back to the dashboard. But we'll click on website builder. We'll select the project that we're working on. Silo example. Click to proceed. And here's our subdomain we just created. Silo example one dot extra pages dot com. Now we want to apply a theme in a WordPress installation. So we'll just come over here to this little icon here. It says apply theme for domain. We'll click on that. Now we want to install uh, the theme as well as a WordPress installation. So we'll make sure we highlight that. Now if you had a theme that you were using on your own that wasn't a site builds theme, you could use the first option and just have a WordPress installation created and then you could go ahead and log into that WordPress and, uh, and carry on from there with your theme. So we're going to go with the site builds theme in WordPress. We'll click submit. And okay. Now here we have all the themes that uh, are available within the site build software. We have pages of them here. So I'm going to uh, go up here and I'm going to select just the affiliate themes. And we'll try we'll try this one here. Yes, we'd like to apply the theme. So now in this 30 second countdown, what the software is doing is creating your hosting account. It's installing a WordPress installation on your, on your uh, subdomain. And then it's also taking in and applying the th selected theme that we just selected a few moments ago. So after the countdown, usually it gets around about 10 seconds or so, we'll receive our success page. Now on this page we have all of our login details, so we can go and uh, and and set our admin email to uh, to an email that we that we have access to and we normally use. You'll see these two important notices up here. So basically our site is. Uh, up and ready to go and uh, we can head on over and check out the silo creator so see the tab up here on the far right now here in the silo creator is where we actually get started making the actual structure to your website so a silo is important for one of two reasons one so that your websites will be optimally structured so that when crawled by Google and other top search engines they will instantly know what your websites about now in addition all inbound links are strategically designed to direct link juice flow to the main keyword or topic you're trying to rank for all links are kept completely relevant to their topic with no link bleeding. This results in a faster indexing and higher rankings with 90% less backlinks. And secondly, your site's visitors will love the ease of navigation. While we keep everything tightly relevant, more pages are viewed and visitors stay longer. This results in drastically reducing your website's bounce rate. So a couple very important things to notice when we first get to the Solid Creator are these two buttons right here. We have the Save and Post button and we also have a Save Only button. So at this point, if we had just done our research and we don't have our uh, we don't have our domain live or a theme up up and ready to go yet, we'd want to come in here and just create the silo. We can click the Save Only button, so that uh, that will save the silo, and then we can implement it later and add it to the website once it's live. Or if we're at the point where we have our our theme up and up and live and ready to go, then we can hit the Save and Post button once we're ready, and uh, it'll actually go ahead and apply the apply the structure to the website. So if you look up here, we have the Select Domain section. So this is a drop-down list of the websites that you have available. So in a project, you can have multiple websites. So we just want to make sure we have the, the proper one selected. Then over here on the right-hand side, we can create a new silo if we wish. Or we can select one that we've previously created throughout any of our other projects. So once you start building a bunch of different silos, you'll see them appearing in this drop-down. And if you uh, find that you want to use one again, then you can, uh, you can select it from there. Here you'll see I have, uh, just for an example, I have a Topic 1, Topic 2, and Topic 3. Now this is just a, a simple drag and drop uh, structure setup. So anything that we find over here that we want to add to our structure, we'd simply drag it to the right and, and put it in the appropriate place. So we take a look here to the left-hand side. We see that the My Keyword tab. Now in this section, <coughs> what we're going to see here are the primary and secondary keywords that I've selected for this project while I was doing my research. So uh, if you are a member and you have the, uh, the research package, so any research you've done in, in that section, you can add your primary and secondaries and it'll all show up here. Uh, also, if you're looking for any extra keywords and uh, you just want to do some quick research while you're in here, you can enter a keyword in the search at the top. I'll just put in dog training and click get results. And those results will show up here under the niche keyword tab and related keyword tab. So if you look over here on the right hand side you'll notice that I have the topics 1, 2, and 3. Now this is just simply the silo example that I created previously. Um, 
so this represents the main navigation of your website so what we're looking at here if I just went ahead and posted this as with the three main topics and no subcategories I'd be building a, th a three level silo so you'd simply just want to correct uh, go to the top here and select the uh, delete existing menu which is going to get rid of the default menu that's already on your theme we're going to add a home page I'm going to title the home page I'm just going to call it home and here's where we select to show the top navigation or to hide the main menu so I'm going to select to show it and I'm also going to select to have that show in an inline menu rather than a drop down menu and now that our site is there we can go ahead I'll show you the the theme prior to uh, the change this is the default theme that's installed all these posts and uh, and ad images are just uh, placeholders for you to change so we'll go back and we'll select uh, to save and post we have the proper website selected the silos in place so now we can go to the website refresh the page and here we go we have our home link as well as our topic one topic two and topic three so any supporting content that we'd add to our website we can come in we can assign it to either either topic which it's related to so not only are we building a structure that Google is going to love, we're building a structure that your users are going to find very useful in, in finding what they're looking for on your website and easily navigating the, throughout the many pages and topics as your website grows. So let's go back to the software. Now if I wanted to create a four level silo, so say if I had a, a subtopic that would go underneath topic one, I'd just simply drag it from the left hand side over and we can, oops, there we go, drag it down and we'll drag it right underneath topic one so I'm just going to post that so I can show you as well, well uh, same action as before, we'll delete the existing menu we'll add a home menu link as well title that home we want that to show inline menu and we'll just go ahead and save and post we'll come back here and we'll refresh our page so then if I go under topic one, we would see in our top navigation that our subcategories will be showing here. So once we add uh, once we add some articles and some actual posts to this website, you'll see how everything flows together. We have some examples to show you as well. Those can be found uh, linked through our sales page. And uh, I'll bring one up here and show you some as well here. This here would be one for a four-level silo. So uh, I guess this one here is set up to be selling model car kits. So if you were to go into the Chevy models, you would receive your subcategories would appear at the top. So you could just come in and click on any of these subcategories and add content to those as well. So as with any silo, one of the most important aspects is keeping everything relevant. So this is where site builds themes really shine as they're designed to intuitively keep all content related to the silo within the silo. So if we take a look at the sidebar of the website here, we scroll down, you'll see that everything is based Chevy. That's that's the silo we're in. We're in the Chevy model silo. You're not going to see anything related to any other any of the other uh, main topics. It's all within this topic. Even the content itself, we'll click on here and we'll go look at some of the written content. You look at the page has the content at the bottom. It links to another post that's within that silo. Nothing bleeds out. There, there's no link juice going anywhere else but up to the main page which is exactly where we're trying to rank. Now as you just seen, creating properly siloed WordPress websites is no longer difficult, technical, or time consuming and all you need to do is add your own great content. So visit sitebills.com website and try out the silo creator for yourself absolutely free there's no cost to get started